So I've done another trolling motor setup. This is the Minn Kota Riptide digital maximizer, which means it has a variable speed ability. Uh, I did the same build up of the deck plate, three pieces of cutting black cutting board. I use stainless steel hardware to join it all together. I put a depth collar on the top and the bottom or the top and the bottom and then I put a stainless steel screw through the collar into the deck plate top and bottom so that it it can't spin and then I cut this off six inches I cut it off six inches above the deck plate put some silicone in there off of a, a little uh, yeah 90 degree elbow and then put the cables inside this mesh jacket off to a, a quick connect which actually goes right here goes right here connects through hole wiring down the side and to the back and here is the head of the motor digital maximizer cables run one for power and one for the switch control speed control through the hull and to the back which is where I have another quick connect right here another quick connect and a cable back here to my battery and this operates like the throttle on a motorcycle up to a hundred forward reverse the way I stabilize it is these are my trolling motor trolling motor rod holders which ties into this set of PVC and then I just bracketed I just put a bracket on here just to hold this this is a piece of uh, the original trolling motor shaft I shrunk it down into another piece of PVC and then another piece of PVC and bolted it to stabilize it and that's that and that's how that works and if I don't want to use a, a trolling rod holder and have this sticking way out like this I've got a, a shorter piece that I use that I replace it with and it just comes out to the edge of the kayak right here it, it stops right here at the edge of the kayak so I can use that one. This fits right under my seat. And the reason I wanted to locate this where I did is because I can adjust the speed right here and then immediately start using my rudder, which I added a, an extension on my rudder for more control. I installed the XL rudder, which is wider, and I used the bolt. I put the bolt in here so that it stiffens it up and doesn't require the locking steering knob. I wanted my hand right here in the same spot for adjusting the speed and the rudder without having to move my hand. It's all in the same spot. <laughs> 